Good morning, Tracy School. This is Mr. Powell, and I want to uh, give you my first lesson since we're on our stay at home from the governor. And I would like to uh, remind everybody to continue doing your warm up. Kindergartners, you know your warm up. Balancing, straight bridges, which we'll get to in a minute. Uh, all the activities, jump rope, same grades one through five, all your warm up, jumping jacks, stretches, everything that we, we do in class, your push ups, curl ups, plank, and jump rope if you have one at home. The goal is to keep you guys moving while you're on these orders from the governor to stay at home and uh, keep, uh, keep healthy with all your hand washing and uh, covering your face when you go out in public now with a mask or a, a scarf of some type, something over your mouth to protect you and to protect the other people around you if you get closer than six feet. All right, and don't forget, just be calm. We're gonna have fun just the same. Uh, today I wanna show you or talk about the uh, straight bridge and the nine positions of a straight bridge. All of you from kindergarten to fifth grade should know the straight bridge. We did it when we were in kindergarten. Kindergartners, you're still doing it and you're doing some of the best straight bridges I've seen this year in my 20 years of coach or uh, teaching and coaching so keep it up and keep working now remember each position that we're going to count we're going to count kindergarten first grade second grade count those alligators one alligator two alligators try to get at least 10 but if you can go more that's even better i'd like the older kids to try to go three four and five grades to uh, count a 15 count and you could do that with all your exercises too, rather than just uh, stop at 10. We stop at 10 in class because of time. So we have other time for activities. So, but you, you can do it longer and it's actually better, especially with your stretching to go 15 or uh, even 60 seconds on one good stretch or position. So challenge yourself and your parents to see uh, who can hold their straight bridge the, the best and the longest in each time that you uh, go back to it on the next day, because we're only going to meet once a week like we would at school. And I would hope that you can build a, a good little competition amongst your family members for uh, the straight bridge and any of the other uh, activities that you do in your warm up jump rope and so forth. So I'm going to pause the tape real quick and set it up and I'm going to show you the straight bridge in each of its positions and talk about uh, some reminders as far as uh, what you want to do while you're doing your straight bridge so you're doing it correctly and I also help mom and dad see what a straight bridge is supposed to look like to help you and then you can help them.